Okay, before we start ISO line number one, let's take a look and make sure you have a few tools turned on that you might need. Uh, first of all, I have the Views menu. If you don't see this menu, you can go to View, Toolbars, and make sure Views is selected. Uh, another menu that comes in really handy for the next nine drawings is this is called the Large Tool Set which you may already see is turned on. You can tell it's turned on if you see the protractor. If you don't see the protractor, the large tool set is under view, toolbars, and I have large tool set selected. So just a few little things before we get started. Okay, let's take a look at the drawing. I'm going to show you how to draw this object actually starting with a solid. And this is something that's going to involve just using the rectangle tool, push-pull, and the line tool. So let's take a look at this object. We know it has a length of four, has a width of one and a half, and a height of two and a half. So I'm actually going to make a solid that basically has that those parameters, those dimensions. I'm going to go back to SketchUp. I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to click once at the origin, single click. So click, release your mouse button, move away. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you see some numbers start to appear. I'm actually going to type out on my keyboard 4, 1.5. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit P for push pull on my keyboard. Hover over the surface, you'll see a whole bunch of little dots appear. Click once, move up, and type in 2.5. Now let's go back to our drawing here we can see that this line here has a length of one. This line here has a height of one and one fourth, which is the same as this line here. And to figure out the length of this line, it's some simple subtraction. We have a total of four. If this is one and this is one, that leaves me with a two inch gap right here. So it's one inch, one and one fourth, and two inches. Let's go back here. I'm going to roll my mouse wheel to zoom in and I'm going to click and hold down my wheel to also put a little bit of a angle on there using orbit. Now I'm going to hit T for tape measure. I'm going to click once on this corner. Single click. I'm going to move away from the corner. I type in one on my keyboard and hit enter. And I'll see a guide point appear. I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to click once on my guide point. I'm going to come down. I should see a blue line appear, which means I'm moving perfectly vertical. And I'm going to type in 1.25, or I could type in 1 and 1 over 4. As you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, either one of those will work. I'm now going to just move to the right, make sure I see a nice red line. That means I'm moving horizontal. I'm going to type in 2, hit enter, and I'm going to move vertically. And if I see a blue line appear, that means I'm going totally vertical. I don't have to type any numbers there. I know that I need to end right here on this edge. Just make sure you see a blue line. Click. And using P for push-pull, you can see I have two surfaces now, two different faces. Click once on this face, move back, and then click a second time. And there is ISO line number one. Once again, I started off with a solid, drew my outline on my front view, and then I push pulled. So line tool, tape measure, and rectangle and push pull. Go ahead and save your work. Make sure you have it slightly at an angle, like so. If you need to, under View, oh, I'm sorry, Camera, you can also go to Zoom Extents and just make sure that the drawing is positioned isometrically before you save it so that your teacher can then check it later on.